The goddess's right of rebirth is finally here. Let's move ahead with our plan. Leave it to me. Professor, are you in as well? We've narrowed down their objective. Kind of. So, let's show everyone that we can carry out our duties better than anyone. We're counting on you, Professor. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. It's time. All right. Let's stick to the plan and go hide where we can watch over the entrance to the Holy Mausoleum. If anyone suspicious enters, we'll follow them in and take them down. Got it? as we suspected. The enemy is within. Oh, those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. The enemy is after the casket of St. Seros. Do they intend to steal her bones? We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. Look, look closely at the ground. There are contraptions of some sort in place. We'll have to look closely at the enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from the best positions possible. I'll go. Why am I even here? Stronger, huh? We'll see. Ready. Stay focused. Sure thing. should I do? I'm on it. You have my support. I have an idea. It's 
just not my day. Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight looks like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly. Forget who you're dealing with. Like moths to a flame. It's time. Another step forward. I told you that if you fled, I would not chase you. But it seems you wish to die. Too shabby. Thank 
Thank you. Oh my, how frightening! You! Was this meeting preordained? Hmm? What do you mean? I'll go. Stay focused. I'll cut through. What should I do? I'm on it. Let me at him. Here we go. Ready. Sure thing. Sally Ford! Forget who you're dealing with. <coughs> Not too shabby.
Oh my, how frightening! Won't you please go easy on me? Our power is yours. Let's give it a go! Good enough. Up to you. Sally Ford! haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Don't waste it! Stay focused.
What should I do? Give up. Let's turn the tables. Continues. can feel it. Allow me to demonstrate. That is that. Let's think carefully. some
I'm impressed. This is our chance. Thing. Must stay focused. Thank you. That should do. a joke? Let's think carefully. Stay focused. No hesitation! Should I have held back? I'm not setting a very good... Oh. 
I aim for greatness. Face it, I'm better than you. I'll never be satisfied. Out of my way. I appreciate it. What should I do? Sure, pal. I'll cut through.
useful. Stay focused. Ready. Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. 
it makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Seros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Seros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrig Mach. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the Kingdom's most impressive fortress, Aryan Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea, and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, 
His power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Cat... Cat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. <laughs>